guys. So right now we got the corn snake Greta. I'm just trying to get out because I took the lid off, but she is actually this is our third feeding on the uh, next step up from a pinky to uh, what they call a small uh, fuzzy mouse. So uh, a pinky is like half the size of this length and width wise, so she's stepping up quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you. I'll show you how she takes it. Pretty interesting too. Uh, the first two feedings. The first one was uh, a little nerve wracking. She got her down though. <clears throat> the second one was a little better. This one should be even better yet. Um, but uh, I'm gonna get this on the tongs here and we'll see how she does. <clears throat> so you see, I got the got the fuzzy mouse on the tongs. I do have the light on my phone on. Let's get her over here, and you see they measure by the middle of the body. Um, you can feed uh, a mouse as wide as the body. Um, some say, you know, as wide as the body plus a quarter. <clears throat> so, it's, as you see, it's about the size and a quarter of her body, so she is fine with eating this. And I'll see her strike this. Strike it, get a little tension on it. <clears throat> so we'll see how she does. This is the third feeding with the uh, fuzzy mouse. Now she, she's gonna struggle a little bit because you see her body, obviously behind her neck or behind her head, to be her like her neck area, skinnier, and the. Uh, of course the center of her body, her tail's way back there. She's getting super long. So like the middle of her body would be in here. So as you see, it's a little smaller than a mouse, but like I said, you can feed um, a size and a quarter. Um, you measure it the middle of their body, so any food source that's a size and a quarter, it can be as big or you know, as big plus a quarter bigger than the center of their body. So, I mean, she is right at that mark. And this is the third feeding step up. I post this to Facebook, so I might pause it. Because it's going to take her a while to get it down, so I might pause intermittently. And then we'll come back and see where she's at. But so far, the head is down. She's going over the shoulders. She, she's turning it, trying to get that front front two legs down like I said every snake in existence can un, unhinge their jaw and I actually could have probably been feeding these to her a couple months ago um, I just wanted to be safe because if they do get too big of a uh, mouse or food source down in their gut or in their throat before it reaches their gut they will actually regurgitate it and when they regurgitate it, it can open up cuts and uh, sores on the inside of the throat. And then you have to wait two to three weeks to feed them because if you feed them, you know, exactly a week later, it will cause infection in the throat. It will open up the wound again and the snake 90% of the time dies. So it's just better to be safe um, to actually know that she can actually get it down. But... I'm going to pause this quick, and uh, so the front legs are almost down, we'll pause it and we'll be back. Yeah, so we're back, and she's actually in the water dish. Um, I think she's trying to, well, she's going to struggle with a little bit, I mean, you know, out in the wild, a snake just doesn't eat something, and it's simple, but as you see, she's in a water dish, I think she's trying to put a little water on there to lubricate that. Uh, to help her get down her throat, so if she actually has that, it's I mean the mouse is in her throat, of the tail, and a little piece of back foot sticking out. 
and has a little piece of bedding on top there that will not hurt them you know, substrate they're okay to swallow a couple pieces does not hurt their digestion but she uh down the hatch you can see it see it moving down her body there there's the mouse in there so you can see she got her down good it worked for it a little bit there it goes Probably try to get that substrate out of her mouth. Nice, right, so I'm happy with that. Happy with that feeding. Third feeding with the uh, fuzzy mouse going up from the pinky mouse. And Greta, the uh, caramel motley corn snake. Uh, she's about almost a year and a half. If you guys like it.